Hey everyone, how you all doing? And uh, once again, welcome back to the channel. And today, we have overview of couple of uh, Indian comics, and these are from Bullseye Press. And I think this is the first time that I've got any Bullseye Press comics with me. Uh, so pretty excited. Um, and I'm not going to waste any time. Just going to open it up and show you guys what those comics are. And uh, yep. These are two single issues uh, right in front of you and this is a comic called Yagya uh, by Bullseye Press. It's, it comes in two different parts and uh, yep this is part one and this is part two and uh, these are the comics we are going to talk about today. So with that let's get right to it. So Yagya, uh, it's called Yagya the Demon Goddess as you can see Bullseye Press issue number one. I think um, they, it has a brilliant cover art. By the way, this came first in Hindi and then got translated into English. And uh, the cover art of Hindi comics is different from the one in English. But I felt both the cover art in Hindi and English are noteworthy. I think it's quite catchy and uh, in the back they give you a glimpse of what this novel is all about uh, it happens in goa drug cartels and police are at each other's throats um, thrust into the conflict is pragya prashar uh, parashar uh, she is the uh, main uh, you know protagonist of this story who is an aspiring comic book writer and uh, yep that's the book one and i love the cover art with all the characters of hers uh, you know strewn around uh, in her imagination right that's that's a very very nice cover art and uh, the writers are Nitin Mishra as you can see and artwork is by Sushant Panda and Zohit Momin and colorist and all, all of those uh, like you said you, you can see Ashwin Kalamane who is another dear friend he is the one who translated this book from Hindi to English so it's like it read in the back it starts in goa now i'm not going to go too much in depth into it um, um if you ask me how will i rate this book i will rate this uh, 3.5 out of 5 in terms of artwork but um, in terms of the story i think it falls uh, below at multiple points so i would give it only a 2.5 in terms of the story um, although there are some very good concepts um, which has been brought out here and there is a lot of spoof around uh, you know Tarzan and Nagraj and uh, you know a bunch of uh, other characters uh, Dara Singh I think uh, uh, yeah there are a bunch of other characters the artwork is pretty interesting I think that's one thing which kept me um, interested um, throughout this this book and uh, it has uh, although i feel that some of the uh, you know some of the tanning on her face etc uh, they have tried to make it too colorful of sorts um, which is which puts me off at times but at the same time um, it's a great attempt uh, if you could just consider this an indian comic uh, bringing new uh, comics out and by the way this um, Bullseye Press is the same one which has also bought out Adira Mohi. I have not yet read any of that as well. Uh, but but after reading this, I will definitely want to check it out. Um, right. So, I hope you guys are liking the art which I am showing you. Uh, it has some... I think all the Indian comics, most of them at least, uh, the formula they have taken from their western adaptation is it needs to contain a lot of violence and maybe... Uh, gory nature and you know uh, very voluptuous uh, girls um, you know so it looks like a masala um, and by the way this is a mature uh, content advisory book so it definitely has a lot of mature content in it um, but I think that looks like the tone of some of these comics that's coming out I, I felt the same thing happen in Caravan and uh, it's reflected in uh, Yagya as well. So that's the main person whom we are talking about, Yagya. Again, 
simply beautiful artwork i think it's like a pin up poster right here and you can see all the adira mohi english and hindi cover arts as well with that we move to yagya 2 uh which is a conclusion of the yagya issue so it, it's good that it just concludes in two issues and um, if you look at it this is a brilliant cover art i feel uh, very very well drawn so uh, it's good for a collector only thing i feel is it's overpriced a lot 199 for this is i feel it's it's a tad too much i would drop 125 to 150 is where i would price it um, but anyways i think maybe they plan to price it higher and then discount it so this is called book 2 bloodbath i don't know what's the first one called there's no name to the first one this one is called bloodbath as you can see so um in short the story is a mix of mythology uh, mythical characters like yagya a uh, lot of violence it's an amalgamation of uh, you know the mythical story and the modern age which i think is a kind of like the formula which many of these guys are going for it works i mean it definitely works i think so this is one story which has a lot of crossover between you know the fights that has lasted for generations uh, but at the same time uh, it it's also a female first story which is a very interesting uh, you know line of thought uh, so as to speak so that's another stand out part of this and like i said right the artwork kept on getting better in fact the artist here i think has changed the artwork here is done by zohep momin only as compared to the other one and uh, yeah this quickly comes to a conclusion i would have loved to read more of it the uh, understand the characters more in depth i think that's one thing that's missing it kind of like puts a plot in place very quickly uh, and then it 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 goes into directly into a lot of action sequences and fights and goriness and you know what not it's it looks like a cracker jacker of a you know old 90s uh, bollywood masala film right that's that's how i i felt uh, and that's where the some of the stories which has a lot of depth um will really stand out if we if, if we could bring more of those in in uh, you know and that's where i i felt the pop culture comics and uh, odayan which i read some time back i think it was one of the best read for me across western and indian comics uh, which which had a lot of concept great fantastic art as well as depth uh, i really would love to Uh, you know revive and read that storyline if if um if if only it could come back again so those things are definitely missing in this and uh, uh, i mean it's not a fair comparison from this story to that story uh, but again if you are just wanting to enjoy a quick um interesting read with great with great artwork and some you know a uh, lot of masala going on around it then i would definitely recommend yagya to you and uh, uh, even the you know the climax and uh, uh, the final sequences are also as expected nothing extraordinary uh, although they try to mix a lot of demons and stuff into the into this at the end uh, too much so as to speak uh, but yeah that's yagya for you i am wrapping up this story then uh, but yeah i'll definitely after having this read having read this i would definitely would want to try out um, adira mohi as well right uh, this is uh, this is uh, this is adira mohi one english one so i'm saying i simply love the cover art of issue one so yeah would definitely give that a try uh, but that's it um, i hope uh, you guys liked this short and simple review of yagya so with that this is street smart joker signing off bye bye